Hi, it's me, Shane Kadar. How you guys doing? So, I'm gonna step back a little bit. So today is Sunday, September the 13th. Am I? Yes, it is the 13th. So, update, giving you guys an update. What's going on with me? Um, so, I had, not a test, but I had a, um, like a, some quizzes, just regular stuff going on in school that, um, I really had to, like, buckle down to get done. Um, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I made, I made A's, but it was just, like, eye-opening for me to see that I need to make sure that I prioritize and schedule and put it on the calendar time for, you know, studying and school, getting that done. Um, I've been doing that, still working out, still um, socializing, not so much really, but um, I'm still pursuing the acting career. I'm still pursuing the modeling. Um, so I'm managing that. It's becoming a balance. I'm starting to learn how to balance everything. And let me turn this down. But um, yes, things are coming together. I am making good friendships. I am still doing well in school. I am, I'm still working. I got a little part-time. Oh, you might want to know this. I had a little part-time job at the bookstore at Georgia State. The irony is that I got my associate's degree just now in July in 2020. Yay! Oh, and I'm going to be celebrating that too. Um, <laughs> okay. But um, <laughs> after that, I didn't think that I would ever have any association with that school. So now that I'm at Clayton State, um, <laughs> I got the job. So I'm like, mm, okay. Could have could have really helped me out more when I <laughs> was here at. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I guess that's just how the universe be working sometimes. So, um, a lot of fun things happened too. I hung out with my brother recently. Um, my long lost brother, who we're supposed to be making a YouTube channel documenting and talking about our experience of two brothers getting to know each other. Um, yes, that happened. We went out, we um, went all over Charlotte. We've got some really delicious cauliflower hot wings at this place. I don't remember the name of it. We went to this other place where everything was like pink and it had this big like walkway. And, um, it was cool. It was just really cool. It was cool. And, um, then, uh, what else, what else has happened? What else has happened? Oh, of course, um, I am currently, currently single. And I am finally, well... <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm deliberately doing things by myself and it's fun. And I think I need a lot of time doing that. I think I need a lot of time enjoying being by myself. Um, that's fun. And what else? Oh, I made a new friend who we are going to be um, going into a partnership together for apparel and body image and um, health. So we're going to be doing some things together. I'm excited about that. Yes, I'm wearing green, green, and green. Green shoes, if you can even see that. I'm the green man or the green lantern. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the update. That's pretty much it. There are going to be some really awesome photos on my Instagram from um, these photo shoots that I did and some ads. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited. And um, I'm going to be learning a lot of new things. I'm going to be, I was helping a friend um, 
with his QuickBooks Online account because I recently took an accounting class, so I was just helping with him, him with that. So that's exciting. There's just a lot going on. It's a lot going on that I'm excited about. One of the things that I really wanted to do was um, I wanted to apply for <laughs> Uh, to be a cheerleader at my school because I was like, I would love it. I would be like, yes, go, woo, yeah. <laughs> I would just be having so much fun. Um, <laughs> I, just, I decided, I'm, I don't know. I think if I want to do that, I need to, I need to have, I need to do like, tumbling classes and for a while so like I'm like I don't know if y'all just need someone to just hold a pom-pom or throw a girl in the air or something I'd be like yay go <laughs> <laughs> or like dance I actually did dance team for like one or two semesters that was actually fun and then Anyway, that's the update. <laughs> that's the update. There's a few other things going on too, but I'm trying to keep things related to what happened in the past couple weeks. Um, oh, I know what I was gonna say is that I decided to start making food in ways that I don't normally make it. Don't, oh, let me not stand that close to the camera not having a beautiful day today my skin and my hair is not i don't feel just me but anyway this is a sandwich that i made from like some sourdough bread and i put some cucumber bell pepper tomato um pepperoni salami pepper jack cheese pesto and goddess dressing on there and then um, I'm not sure what else I put on there, but there's something else I put on there too. <laughs> but I tried to, I noticed that the bread was too small and I was trying to make it a sandwich, tried to force it. And then I decided it's just going to be an open-ended sandwich. A lot of people are going into open-ended, or not open-ended, but open relationships nowadays. I wanted to talk about that. There's so many things that I wanted to talk about. If I had an actual like TV show, I would be like, we're gonna talk about open relationships. We're gonna talk about LGBTQ rights. We're gonna talk about African Americans. We're gonna talk about human rights in America and Nigeria. We're gonna talk about that. I would be like, we're gonna talk about some things that matter. Like really. And I would be like, okay, we're also gonna talk about vocabulary. We're gonna learn some words in Igbo, the language of Nigeria or the Igbo and Yoruba people which are my people, and it would just, that would be, you know what, I should just, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna make that into my thing, my list of, my bucket list. But, um, yes. So, back to what I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you <laughs> about, oh, did I, did I just forget? I just forgot. <laughs> I just forgot. I'm sorry. Because I was going to tell you about like what I was doing with <laughs> that and then this and then that. There's so much. Okay, let me just, okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I think about open relationships, open-ended relationships. I don't understand why people are going into them. I think, I mean, from, from conversations, I have found that people are saying, oh, well, this person wasn't happy with what was going on. And I'm thinking, well, couples counseling for me, that's what I want because um, whoever I'm with, oh, I'm getting thick. Whoever I'm with, I want them to myself, to myself. And I don't want to share them. Um, there's, and also I wanted to say that there's a difference between polyamory and open relationships. Whereas like the poly, I'm just going to tuck my shirt. Excuse me. 
So the difference between polyamorous relationships versus um, a open relationship is that an open relationship can have any number of people in it primarily. Like, we'll give you an example. A, an open relationship would be two people, so a male and a male, a male and a female, or a female and a female, or an intersex and a male, or an intersex and another intersex. Two people. And they are primarily in a, st in a steady relationship. Then they have decided to go on and date someone else. They have either invited them for whatever reason. But the point is they are in a, the two of them are already in a relationship that has time. They've been together and now they've decided to bring someone else in for whatever reason or however long and whatever way they want to or fashion. And then there's a person here with the, with the monog, with the, um, that, that's open-ended. And then there's the persons here, not person, in the um, polyamory group of people and, or that, what is the word I'm looking for? Subcategory, anyway. Um, these people are in, in a relationship that is exclusive. So there can be um, a man that has multiple wives. The wives can date each other or not. Generally, they don't. In most Northeast African um, cultures, they don't. Um, a wife, the same way, can have multiple husbands. So, for example, Angela, she has Jacob and Jasper. Those are her two husbands. And her two husbands can date each other. They generally don't. They generally just date her. Or they're her husbands. They're married to her. Um, so that's polyamorous. Polyamorous people are in whatever type of relationship they want. But just to categorize it so you understand the definition of it. A polyamorous relationship is one in which the people are exclusively romantically, sexually, physically, in any type of relationship way, only involved with each other and no one else. There are people who are in a polyamorous relationship, say in a husband and wife, um, a famous basketball player and his wife, and they have, a th they have a girlfriend that the wife also has a sexual attraction to and they also embrace that and en engage in, in that. Um, but it can, it can also be a romantic thing as well. But anyway, um, there's that to start off. That's the basis. And then let's say now the husband and, and or the wife or the girlfriend now want to sleep with other people or go on dates, maybe non-sexual or whatever. But now they have, um, romantic relationships, be that, be them sexual or just mental and, uh, emotional they have those relationships with others they're branching off to someone else so now that they're branching off to someone else um it's like okay so that's not the same thing as polyamorous that that is a polyamorous relationship that you started with but now it has become an open relationship that's not the same thing um, no that's not the same thing it's a type of relationship but it is not you can't say that those two are the same thing they're different things a polyamorous relationship is one there when in which there are multiple people but that doesn't automatically mean that they now have to sleep with other people that that's their that they don't have a choice in that that's that's a different description of their life, their day-to-day -day lives are different. They engage in different activities. So they're different things. Those are different things. <laughs> so um, polyamorous relationship, um, open relationship, two different things. Although you can have a mixture of both if you want to. Like people are mixing 
monogamous relationships, monogamous duo relationships, along with open relationship um, characteristics. And now uh, people are doing tons of different things as far as like experimentation. Um, I haven't really experimented that much, but I have tried some new things that I said that I would never try. I tried them and I think I've changed as a person and now I'm more of what I thought I wouldn't be, if that made any sense. Because now, <laughs> I, I'll be more specific. I thought that I would not be a person who would want as much as I do to be in a um, <laughs> the word escapes me in a exclusive closed off relationship in which I'm not dating people outside of that it's just what's there not going anywhere else um, I didn't think, I don't know, I just kind of thought like, what if you become like this famous actor, you know what I'm saying, you know, you can get, you can get some here, you can get some there, you can get some, you can go wherever you want, you do whatever you want, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's like, no, 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 that would, um, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be right for me. It wouldn't make me happy. Um, but so I experimented and I tried. Um, I entertained. I was approached by a guy who I thought was attractive, but he um, wanted to date me and he had a boyfriend. And at first I just, what? No. <laughs> And um, I just kind of like wanted to see what it was like because I, I honestly was just curious and I've never done it. So I just was like, okay, well, let's see if <laughs> your boyfriend like doesn't try to fight me or something, something. And, and I, so, yeah, I just, <laughs> I tried that. Um, it was interesting. It was like going to like, um, I don't know, it was like going to like, you're just going to like hang out with a small group of people, I guess. And I mean, there was uh, a little bit of, not awkwardness, but awkwardness in me. He was comfortable. They were fine. It was awkwardness in me because I was like, oh, I'm really, really was just interested in, <laughs> I guess, your man. Not you. <laughs> and <laughs> needless to say, I, I'm not, I have not continued this. <laughs> I just experienced it and kept walking. <laughs> I kept on walking. <laughs> so, um, yes. Yeah, um, it makes me want to graduate college now. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm doing shit. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's just leave. <laughs> Give me the diploma. Give me the diploma. I am ready to put that cap on my head. I'm ready to go. So that was interesting. And I say that because I think that people should try new things just so that they can um, form an opinion about the experience from an inside experience or from an inside the box perspective. Form an opinion from that perspective. And now that I have, and it won't be, I won't have a perfect opinion because I still have never done this. I've never lived it. I've never experienced it fully. But I can still say and I can still vote accordingly because I've experienced something that is other than me. And I think everyone should do that. I think the world would be a lot of a better place if people would experience things that they've never experienced before from someone that they don't really think that they can relate to, from a group of people, a subcategory of human beings that are slightly different from them. I think
think so. I think it just gives you, even if you find out that you're not very um, privy to identifying or continuing a ongoing um, experience in that subgroup, I think it's important to learn about it so that we can have more of a world view, um, viewpoint on things so that we can understand each other better. So, yeah. Oh, and there was a big word that I did look up the other day because I heard it on TV and I thought, what is that? And I wanted to talk about it because big words are things that I want because I want to learn Igbo, I want to learn Spanish, I want to learn English better, I want to learn more English words, and I want to learn um, Chinese. So I want to learn these languages because I'm, I mean, I'm going to school for business, so I should learn languages. And I'm good at learning languages. I like languages. Oh, I'm looking up the word that I was going to say to you. I just... I'm still trying to find it. Okay, so that, um, I can't find it, so instead, I guess what I will do is tell you a word, um, let's think, um, think, 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 double entendre, double entendre, ooh, let's spell it, ooh, that's what I can do, is spell it, and I can tell you what it means, a double entendre is a, a it refers to a phrase, a word or a meaning or something that you have expressed that can have multiple meanings. So um, it's a word or a phrase that one has, a person has stated that can be interpreted in multiple meanings. So I could say, um, today was Sunday, September 13th, and you can't judge me, only he can. <laughs> I'm pointing up so you could be like, okay, is he talking about God? Is he talking about the guy in the bedroom above him? Is he talking about, what is he talking about? Like, is he, is he pointing to someone up there that you just can't see, you know? So that has multiple meanings, double entendre. There's a triple entendre. Um, and I believe it's spelled, okay, yes. It's double, so D-O-U-B-L-E, then entendre, um, E-N-T-E-N-D-R-E, -E, double entendre, and then a triple entendre would just mean something that has three meanings. So good examples of double entendres and triple entendres is the next time you watch Spongebob, if you watch Spongebob, and I have a feeling a lot of my viewers watch Spongebob, comment below if you watch Spongebob, because <laughs> you probably do. Um, I'm not judging, I'm just saying it. <laughs> Spongebob. When you watch Spongebob, they have adult jokes in there that are worded so that children don't understand at all what they mean, but to adults are very funny because they're dirty and they're really, really inappropriate. And <laughs> talk about programming children. Um, <laughs> The, like, like I can give you an example, um, okay, um, Sandy Cheeks, Sandy, the character, the squirrel, Sandy Cheeks to a child, okay, this is a double entendre, um, it means the name, Sandy, because her name's Sandy, and her last name's Cheeks, Cheeks, on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the other meaning of it is people's nalgas, their backside. They sat down in the sand at the beach, and now their backside is sandy. They have sandy cheeks. So that was funny for the adult. That's a double entendre. Um, um, <laughs> God, I'm just thinking about all the things they would say on there. Anyway. 
that was the experience. That's the update for September 23rd, 2020. Um, we're going to keep things going. I didn't think that I was going to be able to handle the course load for all of these online classes that I took because I was like, oh my God, they have to be, they have to be on campus. They have to be on campus. I'm going to be, I'm going to be fucked up. Excuse my language. <laughs> I'm going to be messed up if I don't take them on campus because it's going to be too much. And no, I'm learning a lot, but I am learning a lot though. I guess because you have to when you do it online and you're not going to a class and listening to the professor like profess. <laughs> you don't hear the lecture, so you're not taking in anything from hearing someone. You're reading the books or you can have the book read to you. You can do it like that too, but it's different. And I'm doing better than I thought, than I, thought I, I would. And um, I'm very grateful for that. So that's the update. Um, I'm going to make another update. Um, I'm going to be doing them bi-weekly and on Thursdays. Bi-weekly Thursdays, I'm going to be doing my updates um, just on my blogging channel or um, on Instagram. I'll be making posts on Instagram. All my social media will have Thursday is when I make posts. All right, bye guys. It was me, Shane Kadar, and thank you for watching my video and um, checking out my, my channel. Bye, y'all.